Uh, I'm convinced. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, can you propose uh, a way of testing the hypothesis? Uh, I mean, obviously, you just need to leave some cats in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is there any, anyone here actually work in a lab? Anyone got a cat? Do not let your cat near the lab. <laughs> um, that, that's how you would test it. I think all, all you would need is to put some cats in a lab and uh, thumb cats, obviously, and then just with the, with the crisp crisper yeah, thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it would have to be. I mean, every, every lab's got crisper now. I'm <laughs> Can you show me a lab that hasn't got CRISPR? Uh, even the physicists, you know, they, they, they don't know what it is, but they've just got it. They've just heard it, you know, it's in the papers and everything, so it must be good. Um, yeah, put some cats in a lab. So, Kat, if, if six toes bestow such an advantage upon cats, why are there no seven, eight, fifteen, fifty-toed cats? There are. <laughs> this, is, this is a good time for you to pull your mask off. <laughs> Uh, so there, there are various mutations in, in Sonic Hedgehog um, that, that can give, particularly in humans, they can give multiple digits. And I think one of the cats with the most toes, there are other mutations that, that give uh, polydactyly. And I think there's something like 26 toes is the most toes ever known on a cat. Flippin' egg. Um, there, 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 some cats have like loads of toes. Is that a cat, is that a cat thing? Or do other... I mean, is... Do you get polydactyl chickens? Um, yeah. You can get polydactyl horses that have like an extra thumb sticking out the back of their hoof. Um, polydactyl humans. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth it's worth noting, by the way. Uh, Matt mentioned. They don't get in the labs though. It's only cats that are really. <laughs> okay, <laughs> might, I see. We might see, given that dogs are actually rising in dominance. I mean, maybe they'll be next, but I yeah. know dogs wouldn't overthrow humans. Did, did you come up with this hypothesis entirely because your name is Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my publisher, I hate cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really Book don't out know. now. <laughs> um, uh, I just, I, it's worth mentioning, uh, Matt mentioned that um, two-thirds of Festival of Spoken Ed are on stage, but from a genetic point of view, it's actually five-sixths, because uh, Kat Arnie shares 50% of her genes with her sister, Helen Arnie, who's in Festival of Spoken Ed. So it's actually five-sixths. Um, check out the flyer on your seats. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want Zoe to ask me a question. Fuck the Patreon. I'll be honest, it's less patriarchy and more scheduling. But, uh, <laughs> would you like to ask a well, question? I don't so much have a question as a comment, which is just, I believe you. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And I love cats and can't believe that you don't after coming up with this hypothesis. I'm sorry. I'm but, but no, actually, a sort of question. More toes, more power? Um, I think so, yeah. I think, you know, that it, maybe with, like, multi-repeating guns and things, they could, like, grin. <laughs> yeah, that figures. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Katani! <laughs>